What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Crystal's Copia where we live a life of abundance. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Are you trying to keep your house clean and tidy without breaking the bank? Then I have the video for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video with me again. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell. It alerts you every time I post a video. I upload every single week. trying to maintain a clean space without spending a fortune because let's be honest that's the last thing we want to spend our money on and by the end of this video I'm going to give you 10 of my favorite Dollar Tree products that I use every single day to maintain a tidy home all right let's get into it guys oh guys I'm so excited because I love the Dollar Tree and any excuse I have to go back there I'm in for it so the first thing on my list for keeping a clean and tidy home our Dollar Tree da -da -da, pillowcases. When you get these pillowcases, this one specifically came in a two pack. Usually they come in a one pack, but I'm gonna show you guys how I use these to clean our ceiling fans. I love having the Dollar Tree ones because I don't really wanna spray the inside of the pillowcase that I'm going to put my face on with the dusting spray. So I buy these, they're very inexpensive. They're kind of designated as the, the cleaning pillowcases I when I wash them I put them in my cleaning cart I don't put them in with our other linen so that they don't get confused but I'm gonna show you here basically what I do is I spray the inside of the pillowcase I wrap it around the ceiling fan blades and then I pull towards me so what it does is it captures all of that dust and lint so it's not flying all over beds and carpets it's going to kill the germs because I sprayed an antibacterial spray in there so it's gonna clean it it's gonna catch it all in one fell swoop you can use them over and over again so it's good for the environment and also you're not having that lint and dirt fly everywhere so that's my first First hack is go get you some cheap pillowcases to clean your ceiling fans you're gonna love it okay the second thing on my list is actually for your car and I kind of combined these because some of them are similar and I know sometimes when you go to the Dollar Tree or you see a video with the Dollar Tree haul sometimes your Dollar Tree doesn't have those specific items so I try to pick 10 things for you guys that are really commonly found in almost any Dollar Tree or a variation of the product so that way you can get it too so the first thing that I picked up um, for the car was this little car chamois and it comes in its own little case which I love love. It's basically like a lint free wipe that you can wash and reuse. But the thing I love about it is since it comes in this little cylinder, you can also pick up, they sell these mini Armor All spray bottles. So what I'll do is I'll keep this inside this little tube so it's all in one place. So that way when I'm at the car wash, I can just keep this in the center console of my car, quick spray the dash and wipe it down quick and easy. It keeps my car nice and it's all contained in its own little area. Another thing they sell for your vehicle are these little dusting mitts. You can get these in the automotive area of Dollar Tree. But this is another option if they don't have the sh chamois in the container and you can just keep the spray inside the chamois so, so you can just keep it in here so it's all together and then you can wash these and reuses which I think is awesome so that's for your car and then again this is all kind of in the same I'm kind of counting this as the same hack because these are so similar and I wanted to give you guys as much as possible and that's these little sh these little chamois I keep saying chamois but that's what they're called these remind me I think they're kind of inspired by the sham wow take this one out of the package but this is something great to keep in your car because they're super absorbent it. Now, do I think that they can do all the crazy stuff that they show on the infomercials? No, but I do think this is a great option if you were to spill like a water or soda or something in your car. It's very, very absorbent. Like you were to leave your window open. This is a great thing to keep in there because it doesn't take up much space, but it sucks up a lot of liquid. So it's a good one for your car. Okay, the third thing on my list is another uh, item for the car and that's these mini lint rollers. Now you could probably put a full size lint roller in there as well, but I have a Jeep and so I just have the center console and that's pretty much it. I have paperwork and stuff in the glove box so this is great to keep in the center console with my little cleaner it's just nice I can keep it all in the same little area if I want okay the fifth thing on my list is these little plug-in air fresheners now these do work well however I don't love the fragrance that you can get from the Dollar Tree it's an air freshener and these will fit the air wick air fresheners which I do prefer but I'm a real estate agent so I love these because I can leave them in a property I don't have to worry about like a candle or a diffuser that I have to plug in and turn on before I have a showing and if I forget to grab them it was only a dollar and usually the refill is, is running low or almost gone anyway. So it's nice because I don't have to worry about going back to pick it up. Also, these are great for areas of your house that you're not frequent, frequenting a lot, like maybe a storage room or something like that. So, okay, the next thing on my list is a mini trash can. Now, I love getting these from the Dollar Tree because they're just, I mean, it's a mini trash can. You don't need to spend a lot of money on it. It's holding trash. But I love these because of the size. I like to keep them under the sink in our bathrooms and I keep 
some cleaning supplies in there and it kind of just contains them. And then if I need a quick tidy up the bathroom, I can pull out this, set it on the counter, use what I need and put it right back. I also keep one of these in my closet. If you watch my closet declutter video, if you didn't, I'll leave it linked above. It's awesome to have a closet trash can because whenever you're pulling tags off or you know you have you know a string or something off of your shirt, it's great to have a little trash can right there so that you can quick just throw them away and not have to worry about it. The other thing on my list is this mini, the mini trash bags. And you have to be careful because some of them are for mini trash cans like that one, like I'm showing you here, and some of them are for kitchen, but they do have a fragrance. You can sometimes get ones that are unscented, which I don't really care either way, but this is the vanilla scent. It's a clear mini, mini bag, and I love it for bathroom trash cans because when I tend to use the kitchen sacks, they are so big and they kind of hang over the side that it just looks really messy, so these are great. Also, it comes in a pack of 40, so it lasts a long time. I really like these. I keep them in the bottom of each trash can in each one of our bathrooms. Okay, next thing are the Dollar Tree version of a magic eraser. They're called a scrub buddy and they look white and spongy like this. I love these for shoes. So my kids are super into white tennis shoes and they're, you know, they get dirty really quick. So these are great. You just wet them down, you wring them out and you rub over the shoe with them. It gets them really clean, really inexpensive. They work great. They also work well on like scuffs and showers and things like that. But predominantly what we're using it for at our house is to clean tennis shoes. So get yourself some Dollar Tree magic erasers. Okay, the next thing on my list are these little dog poop holders. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Now, if you don't have an animal, sorry, this hack isn't for you, but I got another one for you that's gonna be great. These, you can find them. They come in this little plastic container and then they come with little poop bag refills. Otherwise, they always, always, always have just the bags, which you can get usually in like a four pack for a buck. But I love these. Um, they're just so compact and easy and I like that. Comes in a little carrier. I think it's just so cute. It's a dog bone. They also sell these really thin drawstring backpacks, which they can't hold a lot of weight, but I love this for putting the dog poop bags in. So I put, whenever I buy some, I put them in this bag, and then whenever I'm walking the dog, I can throw this on my back, it's easy. I don't have to worry about if I have bags or not, and then I just kind of keep an eye on the inventory, but that's another little bonus hack here for you. The next thing on my list, number 10, my 10th favorite cleaning item from the Dollar Tree are these collapsible hampers. I'm gonna show you. They look like this. This is what they look like when they're upright. They just fold into themselves, so they get really skinny, but you can also go end to end. So you go, I want to show you how to do it. So you go end and then end to end. I have to turn it, I guess. But they get really, really tiny. So they come in this little circle and you can actually wrap the little strap around itself and it holds it. But these are great for a multitude of reasons. I love taking this with us when we travel because it serves as a little laundry hamper. I love this. Keep an extra one in our closet, kind of tucked away. And that's where we throw Goodwill items. So when we just recently did a big declutter in our house, but I wanted to make it easy to get things out of the house because I'm a strong believer in the less that you have, the easier it is to maintain inventory and to maintain um, a, a clean home. So I wanted to make it really easy so if we try on a shirt that we're like I want to donate this it's right there in the closet we don't have to think about it when it gets full I just bag it up and then I take it to Goodwill also great 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 for travel so that's my 10th hack oh <laughs> Be careful because they pop back up, so watch out. All right, okay guys, bonus hack. I wanted to quick show you are these little spray bottles. They're tiny little plastic spray bottles. I believe they're two ounces. Yep, they're two ounces. These are awesome if you want to make your own hand sanitizer, which is basically like one part water, one part rubbing alcohol, and you can do like essential oils. If you use doTERRA, I like On Guard. If you use Young Living, I love Thieves. You can add about 10 drops of that, spray it on your hands. You have your own homemade hand sanitizer. Also, you can fill one, they come in a two pack, so you can make one a hand sanitizer which obviously you guys can use these for travel too, whatever you wanna do. The other one you could also use, you could fill it with Windex and keep it in your little car chamois so that way if you need to clean sunglasses, clean review mirror, whatever, it's right there, easy to use. So I wanted to share that one with you guys. I am so excited, I have some amazing Dollar Tree videos coming your way. Also, I have some great hauls, guys. I have a Walmart haul, I'm gonna show you some so cute trends for fall in my Walmart haul. Also some products that I'm loving and some new stuff at the Dollar Tree, so I can't wait. So don't forget to make sure that you are subscribed Keep an eye out on YouTube for my videos that are up and coming this week. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. Leave a comment below on a specific area of your home that you have trouble keeping clean and tidy. I would love to hear about it. Also, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy my other Dollar Tree videos. I'm gonna leave the playlist linked at the end of this video. And I would love for us to be friends. So follow me on social media. My uh, social media handles are also linked down below. And join our community. Our Facebook group, Crystal's Copia, has bonus material, extra tips, and it's a great way for you to engage with me and for me to see the types of videos that you like and get feedback, connect with me there. Also, if you like this video, guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that's the type of content that you like. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a video with me again. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and have a good day. Bye.